Check it out. This is the Jack Track Straight Track. This track is designed to cut on straight surfaces or radial surfaces with a diameter. What makes this track unique is that it is designed around the polymer structure where there are two guide rails, two stiffener rods, and one central drive rail. With competitive models, the design is based around a sheet metal track which has teeth cut into the center for the trolley to drive along. With those systems, the teeth often break off over time, resulting in the bug jumping where those teeth are missing, resulting in catastrophic failure of the cut. The uniqueness of this track is that this drive rail is made of a special durometer of polymer in the center. With this, the drive gear will embed inside of the drive rail as it navigates along the track. After the bug has passed, the drive rail will return to its former condition, leaving no intactful marks by the gear. The great thing about this product is that it can be used on either side. So as one side eventually wears, you can move it to the other side to grip for longer durability of the track. In order for you to have a straight track cut, we leave these two round rails centralized in the center to keep it secure and sturdy. If you'd like to cut on a diameter cut, both of these rails can be removed so that it can bend around a diameter cut down to 24 inches. In this uh, application, we recommend using a ratchet strap to secure both ends around that cut. Another performance enhancing feature of the polymer track is its adaptability to conform side to side. In the sheet metal tracks, once they are attached to the wall, there's no adjustment to the alignment to the scribe cut by the engineer. So this results in longer setup time where the track has to constantly be removed and reattached with the magnets until they align with the scribe cut. With the polymer, there's slight give both ways so that the end user can adjust on the magnet brackets and tap it into place so that it aligns perfectly with the scribe line that needs to be cut. For surface attachment, the jack track has 18 rare earth magnets uh, paired in groups of nine. Each one of these magnets holds 200 pounds per pod, so expanding along 18 gives it a significant amount of attachment at the surface. Alternatively, on a non-magnetic surface, we provide vacuum pods to replace the magnets. Each one of these vacuum pods would hold 120 pounds per pod. Each of these pods are paired with pneumatic venturis, so if one of them would lose suction, the other pairs continue to adhere to the surface. During setup, it is important to maintain cleanliness of the magnets, the surface, or the vacuum in order to ensure proper attachment to the surface to be cut. Each flex track is provided in a four foot length for ease of use for setup and relocation by a single operator. However, if a longer cut at one time is desired, these four foot sections can be coupled together. You simply remove the ratchet strap uh, cable through the center, and then the second track will pair and mate against the surface, and they'll be secured together by two quarter 20 socket head cap screws, and that's for a continuous drive of the trolley from one track to the next. The flex track trolley is comprised of lightweight aluminum design. It is made to ride on the top and the bottom of each of the guide rails with bearings that will ride on the side to keep it precise during the cut. On the bottom, you can see that we have two concentrics on each side, two eccentrics on each side, and the side bearings. The eccentrics are critical to the life expectancy of the track as they can be adjusted to stay snug on the polymer as the item wears. This is the Jack Track Power Drive Unit. It is powered by a 12 volt DC battery and it is transferable from the circle cutter to the Jack Track. On the bottom of the assembly, you can see the drive gear. This is the drive gear that grips into the side of the drive rail and where the drive rail slowly conforms back to its original shape after the bug passes. On the side of the power drive unit, you will see an air inlet and an air outlet. This outlet will go back to your pneumatic dump valve 
to actuate the high pressure water. Here on the side, you will see the attachment for the lithium ion battery. This lithium ion battery is held in place by a magnet so it stays secure and keeps out water during the cutting application. To attach the power drive unit to the trolley, we will align the gear drive with the cutout hole, we'll slide it in, ensuring that our toggle switch uh, secures into its bracket. We will then secure this tightly with a crescent wrench, followed by inserting these four thumb screws and slowly tightening the leaving room so that there's engagement from the toggle switch. So now that the power drive unit is installed on the trolley, we'll now install the complete bug onto the rail. We'll take it from the side, align the bearings, and slide it completely onto the track. To engage the bug for operation, grab the toggle clamp, secure into place till it clicks. This will engage the drive gear into the side of the drive rail. Following that, tighten each one of these thumb screws until they are secure. If the drive gear is not securely gripping the side of the drive rail, take a 7 16 hex wrench and tighten the hex nut to have more engagement. If it's too tight, take the same 17 wrench, turn it the opposite way to decrease the engagement. It's important not to over tighten into the drive rail as it can damage the rail. Patented TCH-2 cutting head is low profile and is rated up to 60,000 PSI. This assembly takes the orifice assembly, which slides in the back of the cutting head body. This is secured into place by the lance. After that is secured into place, take the mixing bowl and slide it into the chamber. This is secured into place by the collet. Before securing the collet entirely, Take the focus tube, slide in until you feel it mate with the mixing bowl, then secure into place. After that is complete, the plastic air line will come in with the garnet from the pot, and the high pressure air line will come in to the lance. The venturi inside of the cutting head will draw the garnet in through the push lock and circulate into the mixing chamber, and then the high pressure water will deliver it through the focus tube. standard cutting setup, we'll insert the cutting head into the male-female block. This will then be inserted onto the trolley where it can be secured into place. Also note that you want to adjust the standoff distance to be the recommended one-eighth of an inch from the surface to be cut, and you want the cutting head to be angled at a 10 degree angle forward in the cutting direction where you will be cutting. To cut with a 35 degree bevel for reweld, we'll first insert the provided Schedule 80 pipe, the universal block, and then insert the male to female block with the cutting head installed. You can then align and secure into place to ensure that you have your 35 degree cut for reweld. Now that we have the track secured into place and the bug installed, now is a time to align for setup. Typically, during a precision cut, you will request that an engineer can scribe a line for you to cut on. With the assumption that the line is already in place, we will then take our bug, slide it into neutral, and set up the longitudinal adjustment to that scribed line. With the bug in neutral, we can uh, visually align the cutting head to the scribed line to see if it is on, uh, aligned or not. If it is not aligned, we can take a rubber mallet and we can adjust by tapping the track so that the cutting head aligns with that scribed line. Note that you may have to adjust the opposite side as well to ensure alignment. After aligned, secure to place and attach your high pressure water line. 